This is machine setup for Court Reporting Institute beginning theory students. You'll receive a tripod and plastic wrap. Once you take it out, the tripod will look much like this. The legs, all three, are folded up. There is a knob on the side that loosens and tightens the inside tube. We're going to pull that out about that far. Tighten this down. Once you tighten it down, this will stay in place. At the top of the tripod, you have a little raised area. The raised area is going to go into the bottom of your wave steno machine. Here on the bottom of the wave steno machine is this open area that the top of the tripod is then going to fit into and then you're going to turn it just a little bit kind of counterclockwise and it'll lock into place. Click. When you hear the click, you know that it's locked in place and it's not going to come off of the tripod. Take the machine. Make sure that you pull all three legs down and that they're locked in place. Try to do this down as I'm holding the machine here. I'm just holding onto the tripod and my hand is supporting the machine on top. Get all three locked in place, set the machine down. The machine has three legs. One, two, and three. You want one leg in between each of your feet. So you put the, the machine down. Fix one leg in between your feet. Your feet are flat on the floor. You want to sit back in the chair. You want a good, hard, straight back chair. You don't want something real comfy with a lot of cushions, big leather chair. Uh, you really don't want anything on wheels. You want something that's going to be very stationary to support your body. Make sure that the chair is not too low or too high so that your feet are dangling off of it. You want it just about the right size. This is a, a, a typical chair that we use here in school. It's a very simple chair. Maybe something like a dining room chair, something like that will work. Any chair will work, but in the beginning you really want good support and you want something very stationary. Okay, once the machine is set up, I want to just point out a few things that uh, you will find out in the tutorial as you look at that. But on the back there is a connection here for the cable that came with your machine. You'll simply take the cable. It can only plug in one way. You take the other end, which is USB connection, and you connect it to your computer. Now, you will set all of this up by loading your software and your drivers that go with your wave steno machine. You'll do all of that in a separate step-by-step -step process. Now, once the machine is on the tripod, it's pretty much locked in place. You can turn the machine all the way around either direction. It's not going to come off of the tripod once it's locked in place. If it's not locked in place, all you have to do is just turn it and it will come right off. So you want to make sure that when you put the tripod in the bottom of the machine, when you turn it, you hear that click and it's in place. So I'm going to reattach the machine back to the tripod. Now, many students will leave the machine attached to the tripod at all times, but just a word of uh, caution, don't leave your machine out for little hands, little fingers, animals. Uh, they love to climb on top of it. You don't want a lot of cat hair puppy dog hair, you don't want little kids playing with it. This is a very expensive piece of equipment that you have purchased. It's like just a mini PC computer, so take very good care of it. You may want to take the machine off of the tripod and then set the two pieces up high and out of the reach of little ones. When you set the machine up, you'll have your screen open. It flips up like this. As you view the tutorial, it will tell you what all of these buttons here on the top do. It will even tell you how to position your hands on the keyboard. It will tell you what everything on the screen means. You push the far left button and the machine comes on. This is a paperless machine. We do not use steno paper anymore. Everything that you write on the machine is projected onto the screen. So when you push keys here on the keyboard, they're going to come up on your screen here. When you attach your machine to the computer with your USB cable, 
you will open a file with your software program and you will also be able to view what you're writing on your computer screen. Now, <clears throat> when you set the machine up, you want to set it to the right height. What is the right height? Anything that's not extremely too high or extremely too low. You do not want your machine to be so low that it's down here, sort of below leg level, and when you put your hands on the keys, you've got them resting on your legs. Do not do that. You want your hands up on the keys. So as I reach out here, my arms should be bent rather naturally, shaped like an L. So I need my machine up. I'm going to bring it up a little bit, right about there I think we will do it. Maybe a little low, but it's pretty comfortable. So you'll have to kind of find your spot within this area of where you want the machine to be sitting. Your hands rest on the keys. The book textbook tells you to let them hover over the keys. I want your fingers to touch the keys because you need to feel the touch initially as you're learning the keyboard. So the left hand and the right hand have a position where the, key, the fingers go, the thumbs go down on the four valve keys below. We'll do another video talking about uh, machine positioning, how you're sitting, how you're going to push the keys, where the fingers should go, etc. But uh, just quickly, you're going to receive a chart, much like this, maybe a blue chart. You want to put that to the side. You'll notice that I'm sitting next to a table. The best way to do that is to take your chair and position it sort of this way, so that you're looking over at the table, you're not straight on to the table. Bring your machine up here, you've got it set up, and then you can glance like this at your chart to help you locate the keys when you're learning the keyboard. And you'll spend several weeks learning the keyboard. So it's very natural, normal, and it's okay to have this chart out here. You'll also receive a real-time theory textbook. This textbook will take you through all of theory. If you're a full-time student, you'll take A and B theory. The book is good. If you're part-time, you'll take theory four quarters. You'll use the same theory book. So that concludes the simple machine setup.